Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. I have eggs. <laughs> What's new? So we've been working all day and it started pouring the rain. So we've gone in, had supper, and it's finally started to clear up. So we've come back out. At least it's cooled down a little bit. It's gonna be like 100 degrees on Friday. That is hot for here. And, but I have not candled Miss Aretha's eggs. If you've seen my uh, video right on, right at the 4th of July, which was two weeks ago, I gave her four little eggs. Aretha, she needed some respect. Let's see if you can see them down here. So, I have some, e her eggs, and she looked at me like, you better give me my eggs back, woman. And then I have a couple others. So I'm gonna run in here. We're gonna candle them real fast. There's only four. And then we're gonna give them back to her. Hopefully, we'll find out if they're fertile. And we'll know if this has all been a lost cause for her. <laughs> so let's get busy. <laughs> all right, guys. So these are the four eggs right here. And some of them, as you can see, um, have kept the marking of the permanent marker a whole lot better than the others. That's why I use that, okay? Because it, it just all tends to rub off. So those are the eggs. Over here are three eggs from today. These are fresh eggs and, of course, cream leg bar feather. So let's look at this real quick. Before we candle her eggs, which I need to do fast, I'm going to candle the eggs from today. I want you to see, again, what a non um, fertilized egg. Well, nah, nah, nah. stop. These are most likely fertilized eggs, okay? But they have not been incubated. So let me get my let me get my uh, information right for you, okay? So they are most likely fertilized, meaning that uh, there's been a rooster in action. But you can see right there. See? It just illuminates in that that like ball looking thing right there, the sunshine, if you will. That's the yolk, okay? So this is what you're used to seeing when you crack an egg. So that one is probably fertile, but it's not incubated. So there's no baby growing in there because it hasn't had a chance to be incubated, okay? Here's the next one you can see right here. See? Same idea. I, I always feel like I'm looking at a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, and then right here, here's the last one. You can see, okay? See how those look? They illuminate. Okay, now, so those are fresh eggs from today. Now, let's move into these. We're looking at around day 14. Look how dark that is. So you can see right there. So if I had shown you this, say, a couple days ago, you'd see a lot more, but see, now they're really getting dark. Um, and you can see that there is development in there. Maybe we'll see some movement. You've seen a lot of movement in different eggs before. This is the Magic Fly Candler. If you're going to be incubating eggs quite a bit and you're going to be candling, I and completely, I completely urge you to get one of these candlers. They're so much easier to um, to use. Okay. Uh, do we have movement in there? I think we might have a little bit of movement right there. So I'm going to move that one out of the way so you can see what's going on there. Now this is a darker egg. This is the Moran. There is the uh, air sac right there. You can see right there. Um, the darker eggs, Welsimer, Moran, um, they are more difficult. I see um, the veining right in there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so there's definitely, oh, it's getting dark. Oh, yeah, look here. See? So it might be difficult to see movement, but you can definitely see um, the difference between, say, that and something more like that. Even though this is a darker egg, it would illuminate, okay? You, it, would, it would brighten up a, a whole lot more than what you're seeing. So, okay, we got a good one right here. Okay, let's see this one right here. Put this here, okay. And, okay, ooh, see? So we definitely have development. Just Let's just move it a little bit. Okay. Oh, oh, where'd you go? Don't hide from us. <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. Do you see <laughs> So we definitely have a movement and development there, okay? And then we have the last and the final victim. They're not, they're like, what is this bright stuff? Oh, okay, this one's really dark. It's hard to, let's see, you see? Now I'm not seeing, let's see here. I'm trying to film, hold a camera. Hmm, no, there's a difference right there. So we'll keep an eye on this one. I can't tell. That does not look... Hmm, you tell me, guys. How does that one look to you all? I'd like to ask you. 
Because some of you guys out there are really, really awesome with, ah, uh, that one, this one may not be good, y'all. See what I'm seeing right there? Maybe? We'll keep an eye on that one. Hmm. All right, so we'll note that one. So I know that we are um, three out of the four looking good. And remember, no go. No go. So what I'll do next is take these back out and give these back to Mama. I'm going to put these right up here. The, the good, these uh, uh, ones you're seeing right here are going to go into my basket with today's date. And these are going back to Mama. Guys, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Be sure to get... Uh, this is the Magic Fly Candler. I'm going to put the link down below. It's awesome. And we'll see how she does. We appreciate you watching. Y'all take care and be good out there.